Hey, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. You thought I was done? You know what? There's something about wine that gives me the hashtag wine munchies. Remember that? So your Wisconsin Wine Guy has the wine munchies. And with those wine munchies mean I gotta eat some food. And eating some food means I'm gonna pair the food with the wine that gave me the wine munchies, right? Right? It makes sense. So we have still the Hard Chard from 19 Crimes, the Sauvignon Bloc from 19 Crimes as well. What do you think the next dish is gonna be? Something very simple, something that everyone enjoys, whether you make it yourself or you buy it, right? Buy it cooked. Fried chicken, right? So I'm gonna be taking a fried chicken leg here. You notice I've already been eating on it, and while I was eating on it, I'm like, you know what, I should shoot a video. You know, you know pair this with the wine, see what happens. So, I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. Evenly seasoned, nothing over the top. So if y'all block first. That Sauvignon Blanc is so neutral that it goes with almost everything. And that's what you look at, they kind of look for in a wine. You just a wine you can just drink and just enjoy. And then think about the world and, and how complex it is. That Sauvignon, that Sauvignon Blanc from 19 Crimes was not too bad. That's a 2021. Mm. Now for the Chardonnay. day. One more bite. Mm. Chardonnay, fried chicken. Wow. That Chardonnay is so rich, so powerful tasting. It overtook the taste of the chicken, all right? It is a decent pairing, but overtook the taste of the chicken. It's not until you swallow Chardonnay you begin to now taste the chicken. But not too bad, can't complain. Why munchies, hashtag, I'm gonna keep going. I just may have something else for you. Be on the lookout, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy telling you as always, let your palate be the guy I'm selecting your wine and food pairing. <laughs> See you next time, which may be coming soon. Ciao.